Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. And as promised, today is Monday, day one of the Mikey Pipes 10,000 subscriber 10 day giveaway. Let's get the show started. And today we are giving away this Milwaukee cheetah wrench. Look at this beautiful Godzilla showing it off like one of those one of those uh, people on the uh, Price is Right. Is it the Price is Right? Like, oh, that's uh, Wheel of Fortune. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that. So, in order to win this Milwaukee adaptable cheetah wrench, you know what you need to do. A, it's gonna come <laughs> autographed by Godzilla and Mikey Pipes. Yep. But in order to win this, you need to post a meaningful comment on why you deserve to win this wrench, all right? And at 8 p.m. this evening, I am gonna pick the winner. So you have a little over 13 hours. Go, go now. All right, we are at our first service call. And this one, this one is definitely takes the cake. <laughs> We've been servicing this client for a number of years and they've asked us to resolve a ongoing problem which has been going on for several years. And that is, we are on the third floor. It's fucking hot. Yeah, it's hot up here. <laughs> it's probably a good 90 degrees, 95 degrees up here. With the window open. With the window open, as you can see over there. Skylight is open, it's still hot up here. And the issue here is the thermostat is one floor down. They would like us to create two zones off this one ream gas-fired furnace with evaporator coil. And we opened up the wall. And let's review. Here is our supply plenum, which ends right there. We have a six-inch takeoff here, which went there. Look how they did that, by the way. Total hack job. All right, I guess because there's not enough room in there, so they didn't want the, to get kinked, so they just put a piece of flu pipe in there. <laughs> wow. Here's another six inch takeoff. It's not even a takeoff. They just took a, a 90 <laughs> and got that in there. So that one went here, all right? And another six inch right there. Again, another, not even a takeoff, just a 90 like this, pretty gross and disgusting. What we are going to do, and by the way, this 10 inch, I think, plenum is feeding the floor below. So what we're going to do, and not today, but I got to make up the supply plenum. We are going to change this up. We're going to replace the supply plenum, make it longer, right? Because I have a lot of room back there. Let me get my big black thing. I got a lot of room back there. It may not look like it is, but there's room there. I, I was in there. I was having lunch, actually breakfast from the <laughs> bodega. <Yep. laughs> so we got room back there. I'm going to shorten the height of this plenum and bring that across there. Then coming off the side of this back there, I am going to put in a 10 inch automatic vent damper. For the, the ducks that are here, and there's a return, by the way, without a filter. We have to give them a filter there and, and enlarge that as well. Mm -hmm. All right, it needs to be larger. So we're going to enlarge that return filter grill, which goes there. More hackery, by the way. And we'll have a vent there. We'll have a vent on the other side. Let me show you that real quick. So we have one there. And the only difficult one I'm working with is this one there. As you can see, we have the ceiling and that's just getting its air from that 10 inch, the main 10 inch. So we're gonna abandon this one. We're going to keep one here and add two over here to try to you know, my goal here is to try to keep it somewhat cool during the summer months. 
I'm not worried about the winter. The winter months will be fine. But that's the goal here. So we're going to take measurements today and have that piece of plenum custom fabricated. I'll also order the return over there. We'll order that. And that's what we're going to do here. Let me get, you know, all my HVAC Pro uh, subscribers, <clears throat> subscribers, let me get your thoughts on this. Mm -hmm. There's no room for a second system, a totally independent second system. We don't have the space for that. What I am thinking about, maybe, just maybe, we can put a ductless mini split system. Maybe put it up on that wall there to try to heat and cool this floor. And I'm going to also propo pro propose that to my client. So all of my HVAC gurus out there, let me get your thoughts on this. I'm proposing, in my opinion, a ductless mini split system for the top floor, eliminating all the duct work that's going up here. Alternatively, redoing all the duct work and creating a two-zone system with automatic vent dampers and a zone control box and adding a thermostat up here. What do you think, Godzilla? What do you think they're going to say? I think they're going to go ductless and then cancel this. I think, they're, I think uh, that may be a, a very good solution here. Right. I think it is. I'm trying to brainstorm. Like I was brainstorming yesterday for Mikey Pipe's q and I saw that. You know? Yeah. By the way, if you, ha if you want to participate in Mikey Pipe's Q&A, send me an email. Send me an email with your problem or question. And of course, you know, give me some video and, and, and high resolution pictures so I could, uh, you know, come up with a solution for you and maybe you'll be featured in an upcoming segment. All right, guys. So you have, we're, we're extending the deadline to 9 p.m. this evening for the Mikey Pipes 10,000 subscriber 10 day giveaway. You have until 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is New York time. Today is February 15th. A meaningful comment on why you should win the Sorry, got interrupted by a phone call. That was Mike. Mikey crashes truck a lot. <laughs> oh, Mikey crashes truck a lot. No, God forbid. He just got a brand new Benz. He's not crashing that. <laughs> um, meaningful comment on why you should win the Milwaukee Adaptable Cheetah Wrench. All right, guys. Go ahead. Let me see those comments.